Hello guys, your in endurance days left. In this video, I want to show you how you can cut regular glass, uh, actually window glass, BK7 uh, category. And the thickness of these uh, glass is half centimeter, so it's five millimeters. So it's very, very, very thick piece of uh, glass. So what you need to do is to paint it from one side, make sure that it becomes dry, and now you can cut it. You may use uh, paint like this, and uh, this is metallic aluminum, but you can also try something else. So, okay, let's uh, let's put it. Let's put uh, the glass on our worktop. We're using 10 watt DPSS uh, laser module installed on uh, CNC 3018 machine, and we have short focal lens f. 20. Um, we use light burn software. I really like that software. It has a uh, very good interface and uh, very convenient uh, ways to operate it. So, yeah, we just move it here. The problem is why I decided to make this test because I really needed to cut something here for my business, for, for myself, but no one was ready to offer me very accurate uh, cutting of, of glass. So I was, you know, kind of upset. That's why I asked myself, why don't we do it with our lasers? And our 10 watt laser is supposed uh, to, be, to be able to do that. Okay. Okay, so we did final adjustments and we're ready to start. So, so the same speed, uh, 20 millimeters uh, per minute. So it's only two centimeters. So it's less than one inch per minute. It's not fast. However, you'll be surprised with the quality of, of the edge uh, that we got. And also I encourage you to wear goggles all the time you operate the laser because uh, this is non-visible radiation. It's 10, um, 64 nanometers and it still can can be dangerous for your eyesight and it's funny because once you see with your eyes um, with the goggles you see one color once you uh, use the camera it's more sensitive to infrared and especially for nearest infrared so here is a uh, pink color is uh, more like 808 uh, laser that is used for pumping the crystal so um, but yeah keep in mind that this is uh, invisible invisible laser and uh, just yeah let me repeat to you about the uh, spacer so the same spacer we did for cutting um, sapphire glass uh, my previous video footage was about sapphire uh, laser cutting we actually use the same parameters the same um, optical system with short focal length, the same laser, same cutting speed, everything. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, the thing I, I really enjoy about this that it's very, very thick uh, glass. So it's like five millimeters. So it's, it's quite impressive. And you cannot cut it with other types of lasers. So with CO2, it crushes, you know, it, it becomes, you know, uh, not solid. So we get some problems uh, in our experiments. You can engrave glass, actually, with um, CO2. And we did some tests with uh, Rikus, with uh, fiber laser, but uh, was not very much uh, we didn't really like the result because the lens we're using on our DIY Galvo is long focal, it's f160, so the laser beam spot is bigger. That means that the amount of energy you have in a spot is less, so the density of energy and density of power is less. Here on DPSS, 10 watt DPSS laser, you have the maximum, uh, you have the maximum uh, laser beam power actually density of, of energy 
so it'll probably take another few uh, seconds, maybe like 30. No, it's like one inch, yeah, probably what one minute. Yeah, and before it ends, I encourage you to check our website endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com and all questions and ideas are welcome under this video and uh, you can also share this video with your community and all ideas, thoughts, we, we really like once people can give us advice and help uh, to make better results. So we are always open for all types of critics. So, okay, almost ready. And keeping fingers crossed. Wow. So you can see it's completely, completely perfect edge. I mean, probably you need to polish it a little bit. It's very hard to focus it though and to show you it's reflective. Yeah, from this perspective, you can see it much better. Okay. Yeah, probably you need, just need to polish it a little bit, but that's all you need to do after you did some uh, glass cutting. So hope that you really enjoyed this video and now you know how you can cut fully transparent uh, glass, window glass with 10 watt DPSS laser model. Have fun and enjoy. Bye-bye.